Okay, Senior Hiker 77 and Lake P Hiker. <laughs> we back at a campsite and um, this, I'm going to show you how to cook something that's not usually brought on a uh, hiking or backpacking trip. Now, if you're a weekend warrior like we are, and if you're an overnighter like we are, then we can bring things from the house <clears throat> that's not necessarily freeze-dried, like Mountain House or Paleo, some of those freeze-dried dinners. But to do that, there's two things that you need. One would be a frying pan. This particular one is an 8-inch Cedar Summit Alpha pan. It's uh, $37, almost $40. But it's non-stick, and, and it serves me well. There is another fry, frying pan that's my go-to frying pan. I've been using this lately because of the weight. And the one I really like is a uh, made by GSI. It's called a Bugaboo. And uh, it's an 8-inch frying pan. Both of them are non-stick. The only thing with the Bugaboo that I like, why I like it, is, is see these edges come straight up. Whereas on the Bugaboo, they kind of flange out like that. And your spatula can get under it. But due to the weight reason, I've been bringing this lately. But my preference is the Bugaboo. Now, that's one requirement if you're going to cook anything um, from the house. The other thing is, you got to have some means of keeping it cool. Now, here in the summertime, Mike P. Hiker last year found this company called Packet, Packet Freezables. And uh, it's five and a half inches by five and a half inches, perfect square. And it's 2.2 inches high. And it is, it's, you put it in the freezer and you freeze this bag and then you can put your eggs and bacon and any other uh, product that needs to stay cool. Now it's only good for overnight. In the wintertime, of course, it can last a couple of days, but here in the summertime, you're only good overnight. And <laughs> now in the morning, when I get ready to cook breakfast, my bacon will not be uh, cold, but you can still feel it being cool. So that's about the extent of it from is one day. Now, unfortunately for you guys, I, I really diligently looked and went to this company. They don't make this particular one anymore. It's a sandwich, uh, it's a sandwich freezable. And I even called the company and talked to customer service. And I sent them a picture of it because they, they wouldn't even aware of it. That's how long they quit producing this. Now, I've looked around at Walmart, Target, AliExpress, Amazon. I couldn't find anything equivalent to this 5.5 by 5.5, 2.2 inches high. Anything bigger would be too big and too heavy for me. Anything smaller would not be sufficient enough to carry the eggs and bacon and um, what other product you want to bring. Now, so that's the two things you need. Some means you'll have to find your own uh, freezable or get some um, lunch, uh, some little lunch box and uh, get some blue ice to put in it or something. But you'll have to figure that out for yourself. That's the two things By you the need. Way, <clears throat> Mike P. Hiker right there, he found this packet. It was, uh, he found it on Kmart and um sears had it but for some reason it's outrageously priced i i don't think we paid 15 dollars for it originally but on those two websites uh sears and kmart it was like 48 dollars unbelievable but it was available just thought i'd add that in now tonight <laughs> i'll unzip this and i'm gonna take out see in here you can't see it but see my eggs and bacon and three pats of butter and then this is what we're gonna have tonight let me put it down here here's what's on the tonight's menu now this time this is just olive oil <laughs> I had to make sure that I didn't bring dr. Broner's soap because it looks very similar in these little containers <laughs> so we're gonna put some olive oil in here Coat the bottom of the pan. Now this is what we got. This is tofu. Some of the worst tasting food in the world. 
<laughs> but I keep hearing this lots of protein, lots of protein, but to me, worst tasting food in the world. I noticed my wife cut these a little thicker than what I like, but she seemed to think I was going to go hungry. She wanted me to bring six of these, so I, I didn't want the treat, but I think the reason they're so thick is because <laughs> she didn't think I'd get enough to eat. Yeah, like I don't get enough to eat. <laughs> Now I know, I know some of you is already saying if you dislike this tofu so much, why would you bring it out here and cook it? Legitimate question. And here I'm going to give you the answer in just a second. Oh, look at that fly. Get out of there. Oh my God. <laughs> What the heck there? Okay. All right, here's the answer to that question why you would bring such food out here if you dislike it so much. And this is the magic. It's in this little box right here. My wife has made some special sauce for me. And this will make it all right. Now, just looking at this sauce, I can tell you a little bit about what's in it. See, it looks like it's soy sauce, green onions, garlic, uh, sesame seeds, and uh, I think she said she puts a little red pepper just to give it a little boost so this sauce <laughs> that sauce makes it magic Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I'm not going to sit here and watch unless you watch me eat it. But that's how you do tofu in the woods. Thanks for watching.